This is a Dacometer 508. 508 means it has five rows of keys in eight columns. In a previous video already showed the uh, Dacometer 908, which has a full-sized keyboard and carries suppression buttons. But this is its uh, smaller, simpler brother, and it's very similar to, for example, a, a Contex A or B, or the uh, Bell Punch uh, Plus Adder. So it uh, is a direct adder, and if you press a key, it gets added immediately to the register. The first time you press a key, a bell uh, rings to let you know that uh, you started from zero. You can press multiple buttons at the same time. It will handle the carries correctly if you do that. So a carry is executed even uh, when a key is being pressed. The uh, movement of the, the uh, number wheels happens during the downstroke of the key. So it has a, a braking system to ensure that it doesn't overshoot. Uh, this here is the clearing lever, and if you push that down, it clears and it stays uh, in the down position until uh, the bell rings when you next press a key. Uh, it's a quite a, a rare machine. It was made in Denmark in around 1951. And uh, let me open it up and show you the inside. I've already undone the screws at the bottom. I'll just uh, need to remove this, uh, the top of this lever. And uh, now I can lift off the case. I'll just remove the glass, and it is real glass, and this, uh, this cover. There we go. So here you see the, uh, the mechanism of the decometer. Let me tilt it to the side. This is the, uh, the keyboard mechanism. Each key has a, a lever here, an L-shaped lever, a, a bell crank, that moves the uh, that changes the vertical movement of the key into a horizontal movement of this bar. The size or the proportions of these uh, these levers uh, changes, so the uh, the one key only moves the bar a little bit. There's also this bar at the bottom here. And uh, that gets moved just at the end of the keystroke. And that activates the braking mechanism. There's a tooth uh, rack here that gets, uh, yeah, that gets blocked by this tooth here, this uh, catch, when this, this bar moves. Oh. The carry mechanism is a bit difficult to see. It uses an eccentric wheel, and uh, yeah, that's just next to the number wheel here. The eccentric wheel is inside this row of uh, pins. Uh, I can uh, try and zoom in and see if you can uh, take a closer look at that. Oh. There we go. It's, uh, it's very difficult to see because the carry goes so fast. But uh, yeah, I can try and hold this, um, this wheel and trigger the carry. Yeah, it's very difficult to, to see what's going on. But that uh, eccentric wheel, it acts as a 10 to 1 a gearing mechanism so that the, um, yeah, while well this, this wheel turns, 
it winds up a, a spring and yeah when it uh, overflows from line to zero it releases a catch so that the axle moves a full rotation that gets reduced by this 10 to 1 gearing to a single step on this number wheel and that movement is essentially added to the movement from the keyboard uh, because it acts like a differential uh, uh, gearing system. So there we go, this was the uh, Dacometer 508. Thank you for watching.